So, I just took out some things that I had around. So, um, I think, like, there are very good quality papers, like, this one is, like, um, very good quality paper, but it's also very expensive and um, depending on what you want to do, you don't really need um, paper that is so expensive. Um, what you do want to know is how heavy is it? Like um, here, this, this means that this is very thick paper. Um, and you can tell when you look at it that this is really thick paper. So I cannot really bend it. It's more like a postcard. Um, and that is really good if you want to uh, paint really wet. So um, then because of the paper is thick, it won't buckle so much. And you can actually use a lot of water. All right, so this is really good paper, but I also, um, I think it's fine to just use, um, for example, something like this. This is a, something cheap, it's actually for students. You can tell it says right here, this is lighter. The other one was 300, this one is 220. Um, and that means it's not as thick and this also is cold press like here it says cold press um, that just means uh, you get this kind of structure here don't know if you can see that um, there's also hot pressed paper that is really, really, really smooth. I think I should have a pad lying around somewhere uh, with hot pressed paper. Uh, let's see if I can just find it really quick. Yes. All right. My messy, messy desk. <laughs> All right. So here you can see that you can't see anything because it is really smooth paper. So. Um, yeah, you can try that too. This is also a really good company. Um, and it's also heavy paper, but I think it's, um, it's more difficult to use this, uh, kind of paper when you want to do, um, like wet and wet technique, uh, and want to use a lot of water. Um, because it it doesn't dry as um, evenly as it does on uh, cold press paper. So I think uh, this is really nice if you want to do things like uh, maybe hand lettering. But if you want to paint uh, pictures, then cold press is, is easier to work with. But um, yeah, here's another thing that I really like to use. This is just a very small version. You can have it in other sizes as well. This is um, made by hand. Um, and so this is like really nice quality paper. You can tell they ripped the edges, they didn't cut it. And it's not as heavy. So it's not, you cannot um, use all the really wet techniques on it, but I can show you a picture that I painted on it. That's this one. And I think it turned out really nice. Um, and it does have this nice structure and it has these ripped edges. So I think it's really nice paper. And um, also, if you're just doing sketches, you can actually use almost any paper. Like, I also like to use this. This is actually a sketch pad <laughs> um, made of bamboo, which I also think is maybe a good thing. And it has a little bit of, of texture to it. 
um, but it's a lot thinner than the other paper. It's, it's really, it's just a sketch pad. But if you just wanna do a watercolor sketch, then it's good enough. Oh, hi, Emma. <laughs> hi. <laughs> um, and also, um, there is like this kind of, I actually, I used it just before I finished this. You can see, this is actually, this is, it is the same pad as the sketch pad with the bamboo paper, only uh, it's heavier, it's heavier paper. And you can really use this. This is, it's, it's for mixed media um, and it works very, very well for watercolor. Like you can really paint actual paintings on this and it's become uh, one of my favorite papers to use. So this is something um, yeah, I think the, the bamboo fiber, it, it really is very cool for watercolors. Yeah, so that's for paper. <laughs> so there are a few different ones. And um, like I said, um, I prefer cold press to hot press. And um, it doesn't have to be the really expensive pad like, like this one. Um, there are other companies that make really good paper and I think you just have to um, try a few out and you'll find one that you really like and it's really not a big deal to start with cheap paper like the pad I showed before this one this is student quality and it's really it's fine if you're starting out and you just want to try things out or if you want to you want something cheap that you can use for sketches because you don't want to use your expensive paper uh, if you're just trying something out and you don't really know if it's a good idea or not then please uh, use this kind of paper um, just try things out and then if you know oh this is going to be something I, I want to put on my wall then you can maybe use this paper. Yeah. All right. So I hope this was helpful for you.